Introduction to Algebra So far, we have learnt about numbers and geometrical shapes. What we have learnt so far comes under arithmetic and geometry. Now, we are going to learn a new branch of mathematics called Algebra. The main feature of Algebra is the use of letters or alphabet to represent numbers. Letters represent not only a particular number. A letter may stand for an unknown quantity. By learning the method of determining unknowns, we develop powerful tools to solve the complicated puzzles and so many problems that arise in our daily life. To understand the basics of algebra, we need to perform certain activities. Now, let us see an activity. This is a math stick. Now, let us make some patterns with these math sticks which will help us to understand some important concepts of algebra. Now, we are going to make a pattern with a math stick. We are going to make a triangle with math sticks. So, how many math sticks are required to make one triangle? Two. Three math sticks. To make a triangle, three math sticks are required. So now I wanted to make one more triangle that is two triangles. To make two triangles, how many math sticks are required? For one triangle, three math sticks, and for two triangles, four. 5, 6. We need 6 math sticks to make 2 triangles. Here is a table which lets us to know how many math sticks are required to form the required number. So by looking at this table, we understand the basic pattern. Now, to know that n number, any number you give, any number of triangles. For example, I wanted to know how many math sticks are required for 10 triangles. Here, a basic thing we are observing. So, for every number, it is 3 times. For every number. For example, 4 triangles. For 4 triangles, it is 3 times the number of triangles. So, for example, 10 triangles. 3 into 10. 30 math sticks are required. So, whatever the number you take, that number is multiplied with 3. That is, 3 times to that number of triangles, you get the number of math sticks. So, we can write that formula here. Number of math sticks required. Number of math sticks required is equal to 3 into number of triangles. In this way, we can find out the number of math sticks required to the required number of triangles. Variable. Now let us learn about variable. Here is a phase. To make this phase, we need two black stickers. To make one face, two stickers are required. To make two faces, two faces, how many stickers are required? One, two, three, four. So we write two faces four stickers. As we have seen the math sticks activity, in the same way we write number of faces 2. In such case, number of stickers 4 and the pattern becomes 2 into 2. 2 faces, 2 stickers. Again, 
we take number of faces 3 sticker 6 2 into 3 in this way we can write for n number so many numbers now if we wanted to formulate it we don't know the number of faces but we wanted to tell how many number of stickers required for example for 6 faces 2 into 6 12 for 10 faces 2 into 10 20 stickers for 12 faces 2 into 12 24 stickers for m faces so we don't know that exact number of the faces so we use the letter m m is a variable it also acts like a number that means all the arithmetic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division everything applies to this letter as like other numbers but this is not a constant number okay so m for m number of faces 2 into m because everywhere 2 2 into the number of faces then we get number of stickers so here 2 into number of faces m faces so we kept m so here it becomes 2m 2 into m means 2m it is not 2 plus m 2 into m means 2m so here m is the variable that is number of faces 2m for example i wanted to know how many stickers are required for eight faces so here 2m in place of m we substitute 8 2 into 8 16 stickers so here this m is a variable expressions with variables let us see some example here are certain expressions in the form of statements here we have some statements let us see some expressions with variables here we have some expressions in the form of statements now see how to express these statements in algebraic expressions so here the first one i have rupees 5 more than what geta have more than what geta have 5 more than what geta have so we don't know what is geta having but 5 more so just we give the variable y to what geta have Geta have 5. Geta have 5. So, I have more than what Geta have. So, more than y plus 5. This is the thing I have. y plus 5. In this way, we can convert the statements into expressions. Now, we see how to write statements for expressions. Here are some expressions. Now see how to write the statements for this. 2p. Here Ravi has twice the money than Sima. 2p. Sima, the money Sima having is p. So Ravi is having twice 2p. Rules from geometry and mensuration. Perimeter of a square. We know that perimeter of a polygon is the length of all its sides now perimeter of a square is equal to square four sides four sides for example you take a variable yes for side so perimeter of a square is equal to side plus side plus side plus side. So side plus side plus side plus side that is four sides four into yes. So here we got the expression 4s. Because the perimeter of a square side plus side plus side plus side. So all the sides of a square will be of same value. So we make 4 into side. Any of the side. 
So here for s, the s is a variable. So we will substitute the value. For example, side is equal to 3 centimeters. The side is equal to 3 centimeters. So 4 into 3, 12 centimeter is the perimeter of the square. So in this way, we can make the expressions using variables. Now we can understand more about the patterns from even arithmetic. Now let us see that even number pattern here. So here is an even number 2 and its pattern is written as 2 into 1 and look at 4 it can be written as 2 into 2 and 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and 8 2 into 4 and 10 2 into 5 and 12 2 into 6 and for 14 2 into 7 and for 16 2 into 8. So these are the patterns for these even numbers. So from this table we can understand that first even number is 2 into 1. The pattern for even number 10 is 2 into 5. The even number 14 2 into 7. So we can write this pattern for any number so far n number. What is the pattern for number n? We don't know that number n it is a variable. We don't know the value. So what is the pattern for that? 2 into n, 2n. So this is the pattern. So for nth number, for 16th number 2 into 8, for nth number 2n is the pattern. Simple equations. Just recall this faces example. So there we found how to find out the number of stickers required for certain number of faces. So there we got a rule 2m. So m is the number of faces. By using this variable we can find out the number of stickers required for a required number of faces. Say for example here is a question how many faces can be made with 10 stickers 10 stickers so how many faces can be made with 10 stickers 10 so how to find out 2 m equal to 10 so how is this equal 2m is equal to 10 10 stickers how many faces the number of faces becomes that m we use the variable m 2m is equal to 10 now we have to see that which value satisfies this m that means we have to find out the value of this variable m okay let us find out say for example we take the trial and error method to see whether this equation is balanced or not. If m is equal to 1, 2 into 1 equal to 10. So this is not satisfied. This is not an equation at all. Because 2 into 1, 2, 2 is not equal to 10. Now let us substitute m is equal to 4. Then 2 fourths 8 and it is not equal to 10. Now let us take m equal to 5. So in place of this 4, we write 5, 2 5s, 10 equal to 10. So here this condition is satisfied, 2m is equal to 10, this is satisfied here. That means m is equal to 5. So this is an equation made with some variables. So when we substitute 5 in place of m, this condition is satisfied. LHS and RHS of an equation. LHS left hand side and RHS right hand side of an equation. For example, 2m is equal to 10. We can call this as an equation when it is 
balanced on both the sides on left hand side and on right hand side so here we don't know the value of m say the value of m and its product with 2 must be equal with 10 then only you call it as an equation otherwise this is not an equation say for example 2 in place of m we keep 4 equal to 10 2 4 8 not equal to 10 so this is not an equation for a simple equation both the left hand side and right hand side should be of equal value so you can compare this left hand side and right hand side of an equation with a common balance now let us substitute 5 in place of m 2 into 5 equal to 10 so now it is 10 so it is balanced on both the sides here the left hand side and right hand side having the same and equal value so only these kind of things are called as equations if we write 4 plus 5 greater than or 3 plus 6 not equal to 8 these are not equations you cannot consider these as equations